Hello Aquarius and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. We got the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles on the split. So we're definitely talking about some pinnacles here. Um, this is your November reading. This may not resonate with all of you. And if it does not, that's fine. Check your sun, your moon, and your rising. But this is a general message just to see whatever it is that the spirit guide has to talk to you about for the month of November. When you are talking. Okay. Three more cards out for you, Aquarius. We got a flipper. The Queen of Wands in reverse. And then the Four of Wands. Under the bottom, we have the Five of Pentacles under the bottom. Okay, so overall, somebody, the you, well, Aquarius, we asking for your energy, right? Cross watchers, you are welcome here. But Aquarius, it looks like from what I'm seeing, you got the Ten of Swords in reverse. You have the Hierophant, and then you have the Death card. So you definitely have some major arcanas happening for the month of November. Okay, again, guys, this may not resonate with all of you. I'm just going to tell you what I see. So... In the past here, you've been holding on to some hurt and pain that it looks like you are willing to let it go and walk away and leave that situation out in the cold. With the Hierophant here, it definitely could have been, um, you know, a higher commitment. Could have been a marriage, a long-term commitment that you just was, you know, even if you wasn't married, you was in a relationship for quite some time. Doesn't necessarily have to be relationship. It could definitely be family or friends. Something that in the past hurt you and you're getting over that hurt. You're understanding that, you know, you need to move on. And uh, Divine is coming in to help you heal and move on from either this past relationship. Or this is you standing in your power knowing it's time now that you've done the healing and it's time to move on. So you're putting a death to old situation and definitely leaving it out in the cold. Now, in the past, you may have with the four pinnacles held on to this relationship or situation. It could have been you holding on to your money because maybe if it was a marriage dissolved, you didn't know where you would end up. And so you were just holding on to your money because, you know, you, you needed to try and prepare yourself for this new start. It looks like that's what you may be doing now. Um, or... The fact that, you know, with the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles, right? Because you go from the four to the five. You realize something you was holding on for quite some time that now you have to let it go. The reason you got to let it go, because you do have the page of pentacles, which was on your split. It is time for a new beginning. And you do have the king of cups under the deck also. And I'm feeling like it's time to move forward, offer your cup of love or receive a cup of love from someone after leaving a long-term relationship. Now, with the Ten of Swords in reverse, you are healing from the deceptive behaviors or whatever it was, whether it was heartbreaks, lying, cheating, or just non-committal relationship or whatever the situation, whatever hurt you in that situation, you have definitely worked on healing and moving on from that situation. Um, at the present moment, you could definitely be waiting on a decision, right, in order to move forward. With the Queen of Wands in reverse, definitely this could be a fire sign that you're leaving behind and you're moving on. Male or female, it doesn't matter. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And you are moving on and uh, you definitely could be moving on to a commitment. Um, you may have found someone else in your life, right? So the Ten of Swords is not something you got over overnight. It could have took you years, or 10 years, two years, one year. I don't know. But this is something that you worked on, right? And you are holding on to this healing in which you have received. And you are now knowing that whatever this situation is, you, it's time to leave it out in the cold, in the past, and move on with your life. Okay, and it was not easy. Let's see, why was the Ten of Swords here in the past spirit for Aquarius? Why was the Ten of Swords here 
in the past for Aquarius. The Ten of Swords was here in the past. This is you getting over. You got the Ace of Wands. So you have that fire now. You are dropping the, the hurt, the pain, deception, whatever it was that completely had you down. Like you could not get up. You couldn't move. You may have felt trapped, confused, not sure if you could ever get up and start again, especially if we are dealing with love, right? Because this is the Ace of Wands is the universe coming in and now picking you up, right? From you're going from being completely just hurt and disappointed to the divine coming in, giving you that passion, that spark to get up and move now after the healing. Pretty much divine is saying you've healed from this situation. Now we need you to move forward and get passionate uh, so that you can continue to move on with your life and have the, this beautiful new beginning, very passionate that, you know, is needed for you. Could definitely be someone coming in with an offer, right? The Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant? Yes, the Hierophant is clarified by the Chariot. Uh, look, this is you getting up. You definitely could be moving into a commitment or someone could be moving towards you, Aquarius, in a higher commitment. And it's after all the healing it has done taken place. Now, I'm feeling this situation may be coming in quick. Or this person may be taking you by surprise. And I forgot who reading that was. But this person is moving so quick and coming in towards you. and Or you're just putting this situation, this marriage, a long-term commitment behind you, right? You're putting the death to the old ways or your beliefs, your thoughts or whatever. It could have been the hive mind. People, you know, may have been telling you it wasn't the best thing to do. Uh, you may have felt at some point in time you couldn't make it on your own, very depressed and down and out. But that energy is changing for the month of November, Aquarius. You are getting back on your feet. And there definitely could be someone who has their eye on you that may be coming in. It could be a Scorpio, P Pisces, or a Cancer, Aquarius. Uh, and with the death card, this person that's coming in could have went through similar situations like yourself. And you guys are coming together or this person is moving towards you or you're moving towards this person because you definitely may be thinking of now, you know, opening your heart up to a higher commitment. Let's see. Why is the death card here for Aquarius in the present? The Ten of Wands. So the, the death card is putting the end to the burdens. It's putting the end, you know, in this present moment. Right now, you're working on dropping the burdens and sorting out what's yours and what's not yours, right? Definitely could be this person that's coming in, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, could be very burdened, but they're working on dropping whatever it is that is attached to them that no longer serve them. So again, Aquarius, you could definitely be dealing with someone that's like a soulmate. You do have twin, to, you know, if you believe in that soulmate and twin flame, right? Because the four of uh, wands definitely could be a twin flame or someone coming in, dropping the burdens, want to build a structure with you, right? They want the family, the home, the kids, the happiness, and everything with you, all right? Um, let's see, why the four of pentacles here in the past here? Clarify the four of pentacles. Yes, the Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So Aquarius, in the past, you was holding on to every penny that you had. Or you just was very conservative about the way you were uh, moving when it came to material world, things you purchased, things you bought, how you save your money. You, with this, moving on from this past relationship, I'm strongly feeling that you had some connection. Maybe you had home, cars, kids. Uh, some type of uh, commitment with this person that embounds you and your financial and you were afraid of spending or doing anything. And the universe is saying, do not be afraid because the universe has your back. There's an ace of pentacles coming in. So where there was hard times when you had money, you weren't sure, you weren't sure how you was going to pay bills or if everything was going to balance out or if you were really going to be able to move forward and, and, and figure this all out for yourself and be stable amongst yourself or just have that clarity within yourself of what it is that you truly wanted. 
The universe is saying there's an ace of pentacles. There's a brand new beginning. There's something that the universe is giving you, and you may not see it at this point in time, right? But it is coming towards you, or you have already received it, because this is in the past place. So, or you've been enlightened that leaving that behind and letting it go has made empowered you to feel so much better, more abundant. And sometimes abundancy is not always in pinnacles, right? It's not always in money. It's knowing how much you've moved forward and how much you've gained in life since you realize your worth and realize what it is that you truly wanted in a relationship or commitment or just within your self-healing, right? With this... Um, Queen of Wands in reverse, you definitely could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Uh, and this person is in reverse in the present moment. Now, what is that? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so this person is in reverse because this person, male or female, it doesn't matter, right? You got the Queen of Pentacles. You're coming up very nervous. This is a person that is now in their feelings. Okay, because you decided to let them go. You made it upon yourself that you are the queen of pentacles, right? You went through a situation over here where you was holding on with your money. You may have had doubt and, and, and belief in yourself that you could do this, that you could find a better job, that you could save money, or that you have all the tools you need to move forward. It may not have been easy, but you focused on it and you realized it's like you came up with a plan. And the plan was that the universe came in right and gave you this opportunity whether it's someone else that is moving towards you and you feel that you want to have a higher commitment with or they're moving towards you through the universe because this was meant to be the reason why you're getting it because you now see your worth and this person also sees that you're moving on and that you are now focusing on you nourishing yourself, caring about yourself, even if it is not a commitment. You could definitely just be leaving someone behind that you may have really adored. You may have even put them on a pedestal at some point in time. But deep down in your heart and soul, this situation was burdened. There was a lot of hurt in this situation. And you are completely moving on. Whether this is someone coming into your life for you to do a whole new, right? With the Queen of Pentacles, this is a whole new foundation. You may have had to re build from the ground up Aquarius and the universe is coming and let you know that they're supporting you in this and that you have no worries no fears right because you have the six of ones you're going to have a victory and with this victory whoever this person you left behind they're also going to see you know this victory that you're having right and that I just feel that at some point in time, you were in doubt about being able to be stable and on your own. And regardless to if this is you just rebuilding and doing things on your own and finally finding the strength and understanding of what it is you truly want and leaving things behind that no longer serve you, with that attitude, you are completely going towards a, a, a journey and a part of your journey that recognizes and wakes you up to let you know you are the queen of pentacles, right? The male or female, it doesn't matter. Now, yes, it may be slow, okay, Aquarius? Don't get discouraged, all right? Because now we're talking about your present moment or where you're at right now. In the present moment, you are realizing you do want a higher commitment. Maybe in the past, after this relationship, you just closed your heart off. You didn't want to be involved. You want to just focus on you. And your heart wasn't open to relationship. Well, with the healing that you've done, you realize like maybe that didn't work out. But I truly do want a higher commitment. I do, I you know, I don't want to play the field. You know, even through the lessons that was learned, you realize you still want that stability, right? You still want to nourish uh, yourself and definitely be able to show up for a connection and be just as nourishing and abundant as you was in the previous relationship. So this is Aquarius that has traveled and moved through a hurting situation, whether it be you had lost your job, you know, whether it be you got down on your luck, maybe it was some things you didn't do uh, that feel that you could have done differently, right? Maybe you got 
a lump sum of money or something like that and you feel you didn't do the best with it you know it could have been several things like that but what it is is right now the universe is telling you that they have your back and that you're going to move forward on this you're going to be successful you're going to be able to rebuild and it is all starting in the month of November now what you need to be aware of is that it will move slowly it's not going to happen overnight but you're being so strategic you've you've learned the lessons from the past you dropping the burdens there's a new you a new understanding of how it is you want to move through this journey and with that clarity you're moving slowly right but you are moving there probably was a time right over here with this four of pentacles that's stuck stagnant and just holding on doing absolutely nothing with your time energy or life and, and, or just not looking for any other open new opportunities. The universe and the opportunities are around you because the universe has your back. What happens with that? You have the sun card under the bottom. The sun card is the happiest card in the deck. But it's also to enlighten you, to give you, you know, when the sun shines on you, you've given that energy, right? So in the past where you wasn't moving and stuck and stagnant, you're now in that chariot because as that sun shines on you, it gives you that energy, that power, that childlike energy, right? And if you look at this, it's just beautiful. Things are growing around them, right? Because that inner you are starting to show on the outside. And that is definitely it. It, it. You know, that's how you get this victory. This is how you're getting your victory. You have the sun card. And not only, so, of course, the six of ones can mean that people see you. But I think most and foremost, Aquarius, you see it within yourself. You see movement within yourself. You see how you're opening it up and healing. And you're understanding, like, people come in your path for reasons. And you're accepting the hurt. You're accepting the, the, um, the pain. You're accepting that everybody has their own journey and that you have one. And it's time for you to move towards your happiness, right? The way that you had to do that, though, was you had to get up. Now, the, the Eight of Cups definitely means walking away. So we do see here that it's possibility that the relationship be walking away. But I think you had to walk away from that mentality of, I can't walk into my Nine of Cups, right? Because this can also mean you walking directly into your Nine of Cups, to your Ten of Cups, into your happy world, your happy space, right? So you have the moon here, and then you turn around and you have the sun. So once you enlighten, it, you start moving towards the sun here right so uh we all have days where it's dark and then we have days where the sun shines so it can't rain all the time right so the moon is now clearing and the sun is coming through you're feeling so much energetic you're feeling better you're coming up with ideas you know you're meeting people or you notice that you're attracting different type of relationships you know, whether it's community, friends, family, you're just noticing that there's a different type of group coming towards you. Now, you definitely could have someone coming in that wants to apologize to you, okay, because you have a page of cups here. And with this page of cups, you have so much enlightening your happiness. You'll be willing to accept this person, apology Aquarius, but that doesn't mean that you have to accept someone back. Everybody thinks that, you know, because somebody's coming back from the past, you have to take it back. What you do is accept the apology because you've healed and you understand, right, that it's time to move on. And that doesn't mean you have to take that person back. Right, you do have the um, look at this is so beautiful. You do have, you know, this wish card. This is the star card. This person could have healed their heart and they're coming in to apologize to you. And it doesn't mean that they come in and make a commitment, they could just be coming in to apologize to you because they've done some healing on their side, right. And as they come in and apologize to you, you know, you get your wish fulfillment. That may have been your closure. Maybe you just needed to you. Maybe you felt like or you just gave up on the fact of this person coming back, giving you closure. And just when you, you know, gave up on it, this person comes back, apologizes to you, have been working on they self and healing. And if that's not the case, the person comes in and apologizes to you and they see that you are different. 
that you heal, you're more calmer, more humble, more happier, more beautiful without them, okay? And it's a strong possibility, but you're going to be looking straight for your nine of cups, your wish fulfillment of what you act for in this relationship. It, not necessarily a relationship, but it could be, right? Because you could have wanted closure and maybe that was part of why you didn't move on because you was like, do I need to heal? And is this person my wish fulfillment? Like you now get to make those choices because of the work that you've done from the inside out. You make that choice. If this is a situation that needs to be deadened, even if they come in and apologize, follow your intuition. Remember the lessons you learn. Feel your heart, right? Get into your heart space. And if this is something that you clearly want to move on from, then you make that move. Forget the fact that people come back from the past. They come back all the time, okay? And you have to be strong enough to realize if you've done all this healing on yourself and this person did not seem like they were given to this relationship in an equal give and take, or you guys was on the same page, or there was so many fights and misunderstanding, you've learned the lessons, you've healed. You are able to make your own decisions and whether you're going to just accept this apology, move on with your healing and your wish fulfillment right behind that, right? And the reason you would do that because the seven of cups, the seven of cups here usually would mean you have some options. Now, definitely Aquarius, you could have several options coming in, new friends, new family, new job, new opportunities, you know, and feeling good about yourself. But it also can mean that the fact that it was an illusion, right? Maybe in the past you felt that you were stuck or stagnant and this is what's healing for you. And if there are options, then, you know, you're going to sit up here and weigh them out and go with the healing that you had. What will it be? A passionate new beginning, no matter what direction or choice, right? Cause it's seven of cups could definitely mean you got options. You got choices. You could have two people coming in to you. Three people, you can have a job, a new job coming, a home, a car. You might be like, oh, everything is happening so fast, but you feel good about it. And you've done so much learning and healing and working on yourself that this opportunity for you definitely can be coming in and you will have to make a choice, okay? So, um, this looks beautiful. Give me a closing message for Aquarius Spirit. Yes, the Empress. And this just tells you that you have all the tools, male or female. You have all the tools you need to move forward in whatever direction you is. Never lose your pure love and energy for yourself, your abundance, your precious, your beautiful, uh, handsome, whatever it is, male or female, it doesn't matter what the universe is saying, that you are abundant all on your own. You can choose to nourish and go into another commitment and don't be afraid because the lessons have been learned, right? The debts have been paid, the karma, you know, if there was karma or whatever, when the universe shows up like this, this is, you know, the spiritual guidance to let you know the answer that you are abundant and you can move on in any direction you want. The universe have your back, but knowing who you are and standing in your power is the most important thing. You know what feels right to you. You know, if now if you're in a relationship that does not feel equal, give and take, you know how to handle things a little differently because of all the healing that you went through. And right, we're going to get... And uh, you guys had said you missed the fact that when I put down earth, water, fire, and air. But I'm going to do it for you guys again. If you like this way that I do it, give me a thumbs up. Because I'm going to incorporate it and bring it back. Okay, Aquarius, if it is an earth sign that you're moving uh, towards. And no, so it's the three of cups in reverse. So this is someone you're not celebrating with anymore. Uh, this, this is, um, letting go third party energies, right? You may be making a decision when it comes to an earth sign or, you know, you're no longer holding on because upright is, is when you're maybe dealing with third party energies, you're choosing if it's an earth sign towards Virgo or Capricorn, you're choosing like, I am not going to be a third energy, right? I deserve everything that is coming to me. I've worked hard, my healing, and you're going to make a decision and you're choosing not to have third party energy, whether it's relationships, family, friends, 
but you're choosing, right? Because that's the empress. So that could just definitely be you or if you're dealing with an earth sign, you're choosing to not be a third party. If it's water sign, you're looking at things logically and you're looking straight on, right? And you're like, look, I see this situation for exactly what it is. And if it's a water sign, you also, the ten of cups fell out with it. And if you're looking at this logically and you got the ten of cups, there may be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like I said, that was coming towards you. And they're looking at this situation as you are their happiness. And they're looking at it logically and you're seeing it as your happiness, that you can have a fulfillment or this person is looking at you and feeling like they could have it all with you. If it's a fire sign, you have the two of ones. You're making a decision to leave something behind to choose the one that works for you to start a brand new beginning in life. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, you could be choosing one of them or you are just fired up and have that. You could have fire in your chart, Aquarius, or this is you just making that choice of what it is that you want. You definitely could be choosing a fire sign, okay? If it is an air sign that you're dealing with for the month of November, yes, there, it's the Knight of Swords in reverse. If there is an air sign that you're dealing with in the month of November, you're going to choose not to communicate with them at this time. Um, this person may also, uh, choose to not communicate with you if you're dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. So maybe someone is disappointed in maybe a decision that you're making, a direction you're going in, but Aquarius, you have to be strong in your power, know who you are, know what it is you truly want, right? This air sign could definitely be a, a, a it could be a sibling, it could be a mother, a father, a grandmother, whoever it is. Maybe you're making changes in your life and people People don't like it. It could definitely be an air sign. Don't have to be. But at this time, someone is choosing not to even come towards you and discuss this situation. Now, it could be the person you want to leave behind. They know that you found love and respect for yourself. They know that you know what you want. You've been through healing. Or they may even know that you, there's a relationship you're in or one coming towards you. And they don't really want to discuss it, right? Whoever this is, I'm feeling like it's the hangman. But they being enlightened about the situation. And enlightened is that you have a victory and you are moving on. And they will see it. And if they see it, they may be in their feelings and don't want to talk about it right now because it's probably not what they wanted, right? But there could be some air sign around you that is not wanting to communicate with you at this time. But at the end of the day, Aquarius, this is beautiful. Uh, November is going to be a very beautiful month. Things Just remember, things may move slowly. But at the end of the day, you deserve all the happiness that the universe has for you. So... Love and light, Aquarius, and I will see you on your mid-month reading. Bye.